Hi everybody, welcome to live. So I'm taking up another day this week, but it's good stuff. Today I wanna to talk to you about crystals and the energy and uh, why they work and how they work. Like all these, um, it's gotten very popular. There's like a whole big thing about like essential oils, crystals. All of a sudden people are really starting to understand about vibrational energy. People are starting to understand that all we are is a vibration. So the crystals that come from the earth, okay, they vibrate just like the vibration in the earth. Everything that happens, everything that's living has a vibration. The trees, the grass, the dirt, the sand, the water, the stones, everything in nature has a vibration. And we are just vibration. The same minerals that go into the earth to make these beautiful stones are the same minerals, dust of the earth, if you will, that make up our physical bodies. But through time, a lot of time, our um, energetic field gets a little damaged or um, loses some of its electricity because of um, emotional things physical things that happen, but it starts with emotional because that's where the frequencies come from. So why would you want to buy crystals and what are they good for you for? Well, a lot of times when people come in, they ask me what crystal they might need for something. And what they don't realize is they're usually drawn to the crystal that their body needs. So let's just hypothetically say that your body all together vibrates at 120 Hertz, which it's hypothetical. And you're missing 20 Hertz. And let's just say, because we know that all these crystals have a vibration, this blue calcite right here has a 20 Hertz. Well, when you hold this crystal and experiencing them and holding them is how you really understand them. You don't always listen to what somebody says. You don't always believe what you hear and see on the internet. But um, I've been using and collecting crystals since I was eight years old. My mom used to come in and say, what are you doing with all these rocks in your room? And I would say, I don't know, but I know I feel better with them around me. And that was true at eight years old, and it's still true at 60. So today I'm going to teach you about just using the, the colors and, and focusing on the color um, qualities because to get into the individual crystals I'm going to build on this this is just going to be the first time of a series that I'm going to start to do because I really want people to understand using the forces of nature for good for to benefit yourself to benefit the environment you're in people come in you can put them in your office there um, you can't tell you can hold them um, you can put them on your night table um, all you have to do is use intention okay so you can work on um, humans, pets, plants, anything. Anything has a direct relation to the frequency of crystals. So anything that's vibrating at a lower vibration that's not um, a healthy state or homeostasis will always come up to meet the higher vibrations of the crystals. So I'm going to explain about how they actually work for healing and for emotional and um, We'll get into programming another time, but here's the thing. Using the crystals, you have three energetic fields that are directly around your body called an aura. These are not the chakras, it's very different. The aura is outside the body. So about an inch out of our body is like the electrical aura. Okay, that's the first one, that's the astral layer. That's the one that holds the energies and the blockages that are in our minds and the physical, I mean, I'm sorry, the physical body, okay? So when you take a crystal and you lay it on somebody's body or you hold a crystal close to your body, the frequency and vibration of that crystal and the minerals that are in these crystals actually connect to the energetic flow in the body and they raise the vibration and start to help to correct if there's blockages or if something's going in the wrong direction. And by raising the vibration, everything in the body has to meet that. The second layer, so you have the electrical, which is the astral. Then you have the mental, 
layer, which is a little bit wider, and it's the next one out. And this is the one for manifesting and creating. It's the one that's directly connected to the emotions. So it's kind of like when you stand close enough to somebody, you can kind of feel what they're feeling, empaths. That's why, because their emotional thoughts are all in that, that area of the aura. And that's connected to material abundance and to survival. The next layer of the aura, which is out here and beyond, okay, is the causal or spiritual layer of the aura. This is the one that connects us to every other soul through the ley lines of the earth, and it's the one that connects us to source. It's kind of like it comes off of our body and it gets plugged right into the earth. So we can use crystals just to help us have energy, recharge, reboot, or we can hold a crystal to help us to relax and repair, okay? So today I'm just gonna use the colors and explain about the chakras. And for those of you that are not familiar with the chakras, that's another live also. So the first one I'm gonna start with is the garnet. It's red. Now, it can be any red stone pretty much, but the red stone is for the uh, root chakra which is located between the pubic bone and the coccyx. So this is all about um, survival, uh, being grounded, feeling secure. The next chakra up is the sacral chakra. It's right about hip height, okay? And this is a carnelian that I'm using, but orange is the color of the sacral chakra. And um, this is all about sexuality and creativity. And shape can matter sometimes, but that's another whole thing. And size doesn't matter. Crystals do what crystals do, whether they're little or big. Um, shape, whether they're pointed or tumbled or round, will have a significant difference, but not anything that you can't just be using it for color right now. So um, orange is also all about communication. So. The next one up is citrine. I have a pretty tumbled one and I have a beautiful point right here. This is for the solar plexus, which is the navel, and it's your power center. So you're using the golden color, but it's really to help with that energy of our, our personal empowerment. The next color is green, and I have a beautiful, beautiful green serpentine and a beautiful, beautiful aquamarine. And this is for the heart chakra. I also have a malachite here. Um, this is for the heart chakra, and the heart chakra is all about loving, your ability to love, be loved, and of course, first and foremost, loving yourself. The next one is light blue. This is the throat chakra, and I'm using the light blue. It helps with calming, but it also helps with communication. This is, cre the, the carnelian is creative communication. Orange is the color of communication, but as, as far as the chakras are concerned, the throat chakra is all about communication and speaking your truth. So I have a really beautiful lace blue agate here and a beautiful, beautiful angel light. So you'd use this if you want to bring the angelic energy and you use this if you need to calm down. The next one up is a lapis lazuli. It's my favorite stone for the uh, third eye chakra. The deep, deep blue is the color of the chakra. And this actually has a little bit of aluminum in it, which is electrical, and it really helps to um, help with your intuition and centeredness. So dark blue, and we're just working with the colors. The properties of the stones are endless. It would take me forever, and I know I can't do that in this you know, short video that I'm doing. So this one is an amethyst. Amethyst is a, a beautiful, beautiful deep purple. This happens to be a point, but I have them in polished, raw, geode form and the amethyst is the color of spirit and amethyst is the crown chakra where spiritual energy meets the body and comes into the body and begins to flow. I have clear quartz here and the thing I'm going to tell you about clear quartz is this. It is the most powerful crystal on the earth and most of the crystals all come from a base of this but Quartz crystal is the most healing, the most powerful, the most grounding. And because of its clearness, 
it can actually be programmed, which is how they program them with memory for computers and watches and things. But if you want to do a lot of intention work, these are really good for intentioning what it is um, you want to accomplish or you want to change um, within the self. And these are really the ones to use because of the non-color, um, they get the clear information. However, you can use the colors and the, shot, the stones with the colors in order to uh, catalyze whatever it is you want to happen, whether it's health, love, wealth, like wealth would be green, love would be red, or unconditional love is pink, um, healing is green, green is all about balance in health, love, and money. So don't worry about choosing your crystals because your crystals will actually choose you. And you can use crystals on anything, plants, pets, people. I mean, it's just wonderful. And think about this. I'm gonna give you something to think about before I end today. When you go for a walk in the park and you're out in nature, you know what your body feels like and you feel like you're one with nature, you're relaxed. What do you feel like when you're in a big busy city or in a very busy aisle of a supermarket? That's the difference with how we're affected with frequencies from nature and how we're affected by um, human resource, I guess, environments. So I hope that this was helpful. Obviously, if you need help with crystals, write to me, post something, ask me questions, whatever you need. I'm always here for you. And the last thing I want is for anybody to go home with one of these beautiful, beautiful gems and not know how to use them and use them for the highest good of yourself or a situation that maybe you want to heal. Okay, so I hope you enjoy this. I love you very much. Have a beautiful, beautiful Thursday.